research out today conducted by doctors and medical institutions in Massachusetts definitively calls that Biogen conference in Boston earlier this year a super spreader event. So here to break that down for us is Dr. Helen Boucher, Chief of the Division of Geographic Medicine and Infectious Diseases at Tufts Medical Center. Good to see you. Good to see you, Emily. So let's talk about this research. It suggests that that conference really drove early infections in the state in March and April, that it may have led to thousands of cases worldwide. Does this mean that travel restrictions, that precautions like masks were implemented too late? Well, Emily, this study from our friends at the Mass General and MIT does show what we suspected, that that conference led to the initiation of many infections here and elsewhere. And certainly it's fair to say that if we think back, it's hard to remember, but at that time we didn't really know the importance of things like washing our hands, physical distancing and covering our face. So we were a little bit late uh, to understand these things and part of that had to do with the issues of testing and part of that had to do with learning about this epidemic. Let's talk about this same study finding that there were likely no cases in Massachusetts before February. So these researchers said the first three cases here were tied directly to China and Europe, but that the strain of the virus in those patients didn't spread beyond them. So does that show us that quarantines do work? Well, it could. And I think that um, we're going to have to see more of this information to understand that better. And it's important to point out that as elegant as this study is, it hasn't been through the peer review process yet, so we'll wait to see that in full detail. But I think it could uh, be another sign that quarantine works. All right, good point. So let's talk about worldwide. France and Italy both reporting a spike or a noticeable rise in COVID cases right now. Um, it seems like these countries, a lot of U.S. states as well, are seeing this cycle of these spikes and then declines. Is that a cycle that you would expect? And if not, what does it mean? Well, unfortunately, Emily, I think it is a cycle that we expect. This virus is still new and most of us are not immune to it. So that means we're at risk. And so what we're afraid of and what we're planning for is to see another cycle here uh, in the fall. We're actively preparing and we're hoping it won't be a big surge, but it's even more important than ever that we stick to it and continue the hard work of physical distancing, covering our face, washing our hands and doing all these things to try to prevent infection as much as possible until we have better therapies and things like a vaccine that we very much hope to have in the next uh, several months. All right, that preparation piece so important. Okay, Dr. Boucher, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it as always. Thank you.